What up, what up, what up? Serial Assassin here, and I'm bringing you another gameplay and commentary. So, uh, my failed live com with uh, Make You Say No Way, uh, we uh, went into the, the new community playlist game type, um, Money in the Dank, and uh, that was the first, like, two games I've ever played, so... Uh, after that fail, I went back in the next night, and I tried another game, and this was my first game that I played, and I decided to choose my class money. So, M4A1, um, Akimbo Scorpions, and uh, yeah, whatever. So, that's gameplay in the background. I didn't do too bad. I started out pretty well, and then uh, I realized that we the, the score was shifting, so I started to become more focused on uh winning and uh my kd went to shit from there so but enjoy the gameplay in the background the the topic of my commentary today is uh you know in dealing with you know my children and my life and also talking with a fellow youtube director that uh you know made a commentary um regarding you know just dealing with life and depression and such um i decided to to you know come up with this topic and I'm sure this is not the first time this topic's ever been done, so I'm not ripping off of anybody, but uh, I guess the, the topic of this commentary is going to be is just life is hard. I mean, life in general is difficult. Uh, I don't care where you come from, what your family status is, how much money you got in the bank. Um, life is difficult regardless. Um, some people's lives may be a little less difficult than others, um, but the th biggest thing is, is everybody always feels that in looking at someone else's life, their life has to be so much better. And, and that's the whole concept behind that old saying is, you know, you got to walk them out in somebody else's shoes before you can make a comment. Because, I mean, from my point of view, there's only one person that I've ever seen on TV, met, or anything that had almost the perfect life. And even this person had some tough decisions to make. And, and that person's Hugh Hefner. This man has it all. And his biggest decision is, is which robe do I wear today and which bunny am I banging tonight? So t he has probably the most easiest life out of everybody because he's rich, got everything around him. And I'm sure even he has some kind of problems in his life that he has to deal with. So here, here's some tips that, you know, I've learned growing up, you know, raising a family, relationships, jobs, school, everything combined. Like, these are the, the, the tools and tips that I use to try to make my life more enjoyable. Uh, not, not so much to say it's not hard, but it's more enjoyable. I can enjoy life. And, you know, if something gets me down, I'm usually quick to rebound and get back to that happy place. Um, you know, a lot of people call me an optimist, and, and that's why I can have this, this mentality all the time. And I'm always so level-headed and, and always so happy. Um, you know, I... I I'm more of a optimistic realist. Like, you know, so some of the key things is I try to set goals. You know, whether they're small, short-term, large, long-term, whatever. But you have to set goals. And, and, you know, if you write them down, that's even better. But just have some kind of goals that you can measure your success and, and you know, your timeline between, like, you know, the beginning of October, I set my goal that I wanted to get to 250 subs by the end of the month. So... I now have a goal. It, it, to me, it's realistic. Others may feel it's lofty, and others may feel that it's pitiful. So, But to me, that's a realistic goal that I see I can do. So that's what I'm shooting for. Will I hit it? I don't know. Well, will I be upset if I don't hit it? Not really, because the bottom line is, is there's only so much I can control. I can put in the work to, to do everything I can to get there. But if the results don't happen... Sometimes that's the shitty part of life. You bust your ass to get somewhere and you just don't get the results that you expected. And you can do one of two things. You can mope and bitch and just use that as an excuse to be a miserable bastard or, you know, just harbor that anger for a long period of time. Or you can say, hey, you know what? I didn't get what I wanted. I worked really hard. Now, let me see if there's anything I could have done differently that may help me succeed next time. So the big thing is, is, is set your goals, focus on your goals, and if you succeed, no matter how big or how small, celebrate. Celebrate that success because that's what you worked for, and if you don't honor it and you don't celebrate it, nobody else is. 
So you should at least be the one celebrating it for yourself to just, you know, that's a milestone in your life, whether it's small or big. And, you know, if you do seem to fail or maybe not completely reach your goal, examine why. You know, look at the reasons. If Was there anything else you could do to, to make things different? You know, and that's the biggest thing. Have that self-analysis to help you succeed next time or, be, or at least come closer to success next time. Um, another big thing that a lot of people don't do is when they're shooting for goals and trying to meet these expectations is pride gets in the way and they won't ask for help. You know, there's nothing wrong with asking a question, asking for help, you know, supporting on, you know, looking for support of others, because those are the things that get you through life. You know, you can look back through your entire life. You didn't get where you are today without somebody helping you, someone giving you help, whether you asked for it or not. So never be afraid to ask that question. Never be afraid to ask for that help, because those are the things that are going to help you get to where you need to be. And uh, another thing to think about outside of asking for help is manage your expectations. Um, This is a huge thing because a lot of people will have these grand expectations and when they fall short, they're like, oh, well, forget that. I'll never do that again because I failed miserably. You know, if you set your goal too high, that's fine. I set all my goals real high because you know what? If I fall short of a lofty goal, I'm still better off if I was trying to be realistic, which, you know, everyone else may say I'm being unrealistic, but, you know, they'll be like, okay, so for example, 250 subs, some people say that's unrealistic, that's a lofty goal, and you know what, it may be, but if I get to 150 or 175, or hell, even if I get to 125, I did not hit my goal, but I'm better than I started. And that is a success in itself. So manage your expectations. And and if you come short, take what you get. You know, be happy with the success you did have and not focus on the negative. So positive, focus on. Negative, just learn from it and then forget it. Like, and also one more thing, and before I get too far off topic is the other people in your lives they're the ones that you should lean on the most. And if you're leaning on somebody, whether it's big or small, make sure they have the same strength from you so they can lean right back. The biggest thing about relationships is being able to give as much as you take. And there's a lot of relationships out there that you may have that the biggest thing is, is either there's too much give and not enough take or vice versa. So, you know, that's another thing about your relationships and your support system and the people that you care about is, you know, make sure that it's an even relationship. You know, there's some people out there, and this is just a random example, that, um, you know, may really like a person because uh, they have the life, quote unquote, that that person wants. So they idolize that person. They want to be like that person. They want to be in that person's shoes. So they hang out with that person. They do a lot of stuff with that person. But it's usually, in those type of situations, it's that person that wants the other person's life. So let's say it's John that wants Jack's life. John will do a lot of stuff for Jack, but Jack won't do much in return. So those type of relationships, you want to try to steer away from them because you only have so much energy and and so much time in the day to try to achieve your goals. Don't waste too much of it trying to help others that aren't returning the same effort to you. And you know what? It may take less effort for them, but if they're giving as much as they're taking, that's all that matters. So just to wrap this all up is life is hard. And the only way to make it easier is to better manage it. Uh, You know, set your goals, set your expectations, make, make plans and, and one of the biggest things is never, ever, ever live in the past. You know, if you're one of those people that focuses on what happened yesterday all the time, you're not looking at what's going on today, and you're definitely not looking forward to what's coming tomorrow. And, you know, a lot of people that are always looking backwards trip over stuff that's right in front of them. 
and, and they don't even realize what they tripped over. So that that's just one more thing to to point out is you know live in the moment. You know, worry about the things you can control, and let everyone else worry about the stuff you can't. Because there's going to be situations in life where you can't control it. You can't do anything about it. No matter what you do, you're just banging up against a steel wall that is never going to budge. And and all that time and energy you're putting into trying to move that wall could be spent somewhere else that will have more more positive results in your life. So... I guess that's the biggest thing for me is I just, I focus on the stuff I can control. You know, I try to balance that stuff. And if it's something out of my control, completely out of my control, like the presidential debate, I have one vote out of what, 250 million. I don't focus on that. I'm going to make my decision. I'm going to vote and that'll be the end of it. If I, if, if I didn't choose for the winning guy, I'm not going to cry myself to sleep. I'm not going to spend the next four years bitching about it. Because the bottom line is, I did what I could, and that's it. That's all I can do. Griping about everything else is irrelevant. It's a waste of time and energy that could be focused on something else that could put a more positive spin on your life. So, that's it. I'm done my rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is a little on the deep level, but uh, if, if you liked it, I want you to start your comment out with a smiley face. I don't care what kind of smiley face. Start it out with a smiley face so I know you listen from beginning to end and you appreciate it, what I'm saying. So uh, hopefully you click that like button. And uh, hopefully if you're new here, you'll click that subscribe button and come back for more. And uh, there's a couple of videos here that uh, you may enjoy if you click on them. So thank you again for your time. I appreciate your support. Love you all. And I'm out. Peace.